First things first, we're going to need a six and a half millimeter socket Phillips screwdriver. Be sure the driver is unplugged. Next thing you'll need to do, remove the screws from here on the bottom plate and then the back plate. Once the back plates are removed, you have the screw on each side. You have to remove to move the entire top side backwards. Once those screws are removed, you can push back onto the top. You should be able to remove the top. Once you are able to get it removed from the top, you notice there's little tabs at the sides underneath. It takes a little working to get it out. And then you'll need to push down on these metal clips on each side. Better do with two hands, but yeah, get the idea. Push down and in through the metal. Once you have the clips pushed through, should for safety drop the top back down. You should be able to pull the control board forward. And then you have two cables to remove to get it free. We'll do that off camera. Correction was this cable, not this one, for these two. The three prong. Molex connector connection with two wires to red and black and then the three pin three wire can't see but this is like black blue and yellow and once you have the control board completely off on its mount you have your six and a half millimeter screws that line the back You have your screws out. Fun part is getting these three, or actually two, sorry, just these two cables connect disconnected from the back of the circuit board. And then you have these plastic clips. Now this part, if your control board still works somewhat, you can clean it out and you're able to get it off. Be gentle. You'll need maybe a, a third person to help you while you push in on the clips, All right? See, mine's easy because I've already replaced my control board. But as you push in on the clip, you'll want to put something non-metallic in between in between the actual face of the board And the gray or white um, mount that way the clips don't push back in on you and just work your way down pushing in the clip on the back and keeping it separated I'll give you a side profile of what those clips look like they're J clips they're supposed to hook onto the back side of the mount but once you get everything off, pretty much what it looks like. The issue I was having, if you look at, if you watch my previous video, there's water build up. Let me bring my flashlight and make it easier to see. There's water build up along these connections because the older circuit board it had test points for quality control. The newer circuit boards 
the replacement ones, they don't have those test connections. They desolder them at the factory. But they don't put any silicone grease, dielectric grease, or anything to prevent corrosion to getting on into the terminals. And if your dryer is not properly vented on the outside, you, you will have condensation buildup on the inside of the lid of the dryer. I'll move my top side of the dryer and I'll show you. Because on the underside of mine, from condensation buildup, I have corrosion already. Just from the use of the dryer. I've had this dryer since 2015. That's why I wish I had got the warranty. Because at the time I bought the new circuit board, the new control panel, it cost 300 plus dollars for just this. Just this. 300 plus. And one of the giveaways that my circuit board was going out, my speaker quit working. There was no tones. Didn't let me know if it was still damp or anything or it was finished, even when the option was selected. So hopefully that helps. The, just remember, the reassembly is the reverse of the deassembly. Disassembly, sorry. So 